Okay. Okay, so we finished up till here in the first video. And now what we are going to do is uh, this next node, we set it to J. Now what is the meaning of that? So this next node is going to be the next node we are going to visit. Okay. It's going to be the next node which we are going to visit from the source. That's why we want the value in the next node. So we do visited next node is equal to 1 as we are going to visit it next okay so yeah so we're gonna actually start the algorithm now I'm sorry it took so long but that's we need to do this housekeeping stuff in order to get to the meat and grit of the actual program so while we are doing this we want this amount of code to be executed about five times because we have five nodes so we go for int i equal to so let's just have something else c equal to zero c less than five and c plus plus yeah c plus plus for all you c lovers out there c plus plus lovers out there or whatever c plus plus and then you go if visited of c is not equal to one only then will this code be executed so this code will be executed only when the visited array of that particular index is not equal to one and you'll understand that if you have already done the actual graphical representation of the taxes algorithm and then what we do is we check if the min plus the matrix of the next node and C is less than the distance of C then we put the distance this over here to be equal to this value over here I know copy pasting is not the best of programming practices but sometimes it just gets the job done and you know we're all about fast coding here at Quinston's laboratory sorry for that and then you set this value which is C that is pre D of C is equal to next node you'll understand this when we get to the actual pathfinding algorithm okay now you got that so this is the actual algorithm now this will be executed about five times so that you always get a new value for distance a new value for pre D and it will be just very good I guess um, now if you go through this actually so now um, let's go and print out the distance array so the distance array will be over here so you go for int i equal to 0 i less than 10 sorry 5 and i plus plus so in order to print this you go system dot out dot print I'm not going to use ln over here because I want to print it in a different manner plus the distance of i and then you go again system dot out dot print control c control v and that's about it okay so there's one more thing which I want to cover before we do that next thing uh, just over here after the initialization right system dot out dot print ln and you go um, enter the matrix yeah I'm a matrix fan enter the matrix you love Neo right so you go enter the matrix so now I just ran the application and it's over here enter the matrix I, d I don't think you can see it so I'm just going to shift it about here enter the matrix so I ran it through um, a graph which I already made that is over here 0, 10, 30 and whatever and then I got the correct answer I want to make this graph just you know make the matrix and connect the dots so if 0, 10 I'm going to slowly go through it yeah 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 okay that's about it and then uh, you must be thinking where is the path okay and in order to make the path what we do is we go through 
uh, the predetermined the pre D okay and then you make it so to print the path we go again for int i equal to 0 i plus plus sorry i less than 5 i plus plus as we all know we love i's and j's in India i plus plus and then we go int j and uh, your system dot out dot print ln and you go path equals plus i so i is the first node in the path obviously it's gonna be like that then you give the value of j i to j I will get to that later um, if you get the value of i to j I will have the value of j now and you go do yeah, you never seen a do while loop, did you? J is equal to pre D of J. That would jump, okay? Then you go system dot out dot print ln and you go ah uh, ah uh, plus J. So what's happening here is you give the value of I to J and this will go from here and j will be equal to the ith value of j okay the predetermined jth so that is jumping between the j so so if you like make the actual predetermined uh, visited array you will un 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 you'll understand why this actually happens okay and let's do it while J is not equal to zero, and that's about it. Also, I want to add a system dot out dot print. Sorry, I can't even type today. Print ln. Now every tutorial guy who makes tutorials on YouTube says has a bad typing day almost every day. True story okay so now let's enter the matrix and see what happens uh, you have 0 10 0 30 100 10 0 50 0 0 0 50 0 20 10 30 0 20 0 60 100 0 10 60 and 0 so yeah that's our answer see uh, only this so we have 0 10 50 30 and 60 the paths are given as mentioned above and uh, if you don't believe me that they are correct or not you can just you know make this graph and you will probably understand why is it why it is how it is so thank you for watching and uh, I just want to say that I'm gonna make a few more videos and uh, this is not for like you know people who are trying to learn from the basics of Dijkstra's algorithm or Prim's algorithm or Kruskal's algorithm, this is basically programming them into a workable code or executable code. So, I even if if somebody wants me to cover Dijkstra's algorithm in a graphical sense, I would if you know if you want me to. But you know, I don't expect anybody to want because this is basically for me in order to get good marks in the exam uh, because I suck at that most of the time. So I just want to, you know, so the only reason I'm going to do this is uh, so that I can revise my examinations properly. So I'm going to cover my semesters or whatever I learn, I'm going to make videos about them and, you know, just document it so that I could get some uh, something out of it and people who are around me can get something out of it. And this is going to be a social effort. And if anybody wants to help me out, sure, you know, I'm open to ideas. I ain't got anything else to do, you know, for the time being. So thank you for watching and uh, I hope you understood or and if you want the code I'm gonna put the code in the description and yeah that's about it thank you